Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this podcast. I know, and tonight we do a little bit of discussion about movies and tra- trailers, as well as pick up an issue that we unfortunately left out last week, and talk about something which, well, is a little bit unfair for British, view- British viewers of, of various movie- movies. Tonight we have Charles, and we also have Tom, a new get- guest with us tonight. Uh, we've given him the standard proce- procedure, which is in our, in our podcast, so Tom. Favorite episode, of the favorite uh, series of the past five years. How are you then, anyway? Yeah. Well, I'm okay today. And uh, favorite series of the past five years. Well, during I've gone off cartoons for a long time. Um, I'd have to say, for the last five years, it'd be um, Jurassic and Akrabi. Game of five years, absolute big series. A bit of violence, a bit of amount of psycho and story that was written. Okay. Uh, favorite series older of the past, decade, which is older decade, than a decade. Away. Okay. Because it's just so. I mean, okay. I grew up and uh, it's any particular reason, reason why? Really the the main last time. I mean, trail off to the end and get, and get a little step. They made right at the end, they actually closed the series. Okay. Uh, um, favorite series of the well, past uh, 15, which is older than. Okay. I mean, it was made for an adult. Something anyone can do, whether you're a funny young six or um, so it's a They had something for everyone. Great amount of comic books, Mark Hamill is the joke. Just saying. There's many out there. Um, why don't you say. Um, okay. Um, actually, favorite animated movie? That's movie wise, I don't direct this. It was the use of the free saga of these on my purposes. And the main reason for how much it costs was really good. Oh, uh, that would be about the Batman series, the Man Who Batman. Show him the episode. Okay. You know, Batman's um, by someone. Favorite like, episode. Like a huge big show, and so on the ground, and then um, fun. It's got to be. The Joker coming, who's pretty different that Batman is dead, so holds a funeral, which left me an absolute surprise. Okay. Um, favorite episode of the past five years? There's many out there, and that, though, but one that really is where was a little draw. Okay. Um, I mean, I have someone to go and check it out. Favorite and short. If you haven't seen it, what? Um, let's go on Me, to the Inkit and the Ward for a series that sex just generates more love. Next series that probably did need a little more love. I mean, I'm sure it's right. We're not actually well. I mean, we're not going to make so much. Just um, see the um, popularity of um, Gum Dab on the Genesis. But what set this out is there's no, you know, there's no big massive psychological thing or you know some massive war going on two guys find a robot let's get shit we're gonna wreak and we're gonna have to do it okay and uh on the side of the clip side of that the cosmic rack award for series you've scoured existence so many series but uh, why spongebob <laughs> any reason why spop it's see, hard have you seen it lately also no more also with Ernest Borgnine dead no more mermaid man and lately, it's your utter, utter. It turns one fucking okay. stupid. Um, okay, let's move on to some more inter- interesting idea. Interesting idea. Um, no, 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 we've got to do your an- yeah, adaptation. Yeah, original sorry, ideas, you have. Okay, adaptation. What do you want to adapt into a sort of an series or an anime movie or. Um, I was a fleet uh, way sort of comics, but I know the Archie stuff. Okay. You should read the Archie stuff, it's much, much better. It does have some really, it's got a lot of characters, these ones are actually, you know. And um, some that I'd really love to ask. Sonic Team and Skull. Okay. Um, finally, original ideas. Is that cool? Oh, I mean, it's going around in my head. Unfortunately, I'd put them on something as I can't bloody draw. Maybe I should web, maybe I should find some stuff web. But the right idea is sort of, sort of a little bit like um, Uzumaki, a little bit like a rational thing. This is something playful laugh, laughs then. No, I'm, nah, not like something like. Okay. Oh, it can be playful laughs. I mean, I'd say more joking. Okay. Oh, think of, think of laughs, you know, oh god, that would be a horrifying animated series. <laughs> 
Anyway. Yeah. We've got the... Um... Funny. Okay, so thanks very much, Tom. Um, now let's move on to the discussion for tonight. I left with the first... I'll send you guys a couple of... A couple of... And a bit of news. Well, let's start off the um, trailers first. Uh, this one which we sent to, sent to you guys. A new trailer for the Epic. The one which um, Charles mentioned about the uh, Manchester... Uh, went up to the Manchester Road, which is um, Birds and Rapple and... Uh, yeah, this is the new trailer come recently for it. So, uh, what do you guys think? Bit indifferent, really. Not really something that strikes my opinion. Um, I'm not really too bothered by it. Okay. Probably sure. it probably because straight you were the head. one who saw all this stuff in the Manchester Expo, so... Yeah, um... I think I would have to take what I said at the time of first discussing it, because um, it's definitely not trying to be like Fern Gully. That much is pretty much clear. It's um, Why would anyone think... want to be like Fern Gully? That show was giant! <laughs> but uh, it's more like um, I didn't actually see the movie, but my friend compared it to it. Um, it's that interesting film where the, there's a kid and he turns into a very tiny, like, an ant side version of himself, then he meets these interesting people who are s sort of weird elven-like in the way they are, like, as tiny insect people. I'm trying to think what it was. It was apparently good, and it got an annoying sequel where they their kind actually got big and they went into the human world, and that sucked. Um, I'm trying to think what its name was. That was like Jason that was a little the bit like the ant bully, almost. No, 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 that's not it. Um... No, it's not the ants bully, but I have a good example of for what this movie is. But it's really good, but I can't remember what it's called. Come okay. to me later it, it, at some point. I'm sure, um, some, but, I'm sure someone in the comments will weigh up that. But yeah, um, it's okay. Um, I don't have anything that's really to say about it. It looks like a kids' film. It, look, it looks very colorful, very artistic. The only problem I have again is that these are awesome guardians of the forest who ride around on hummingbirds and they want to defeat the evil dark looking rat creatures and it's like really you do know the words guardians it's just a very glamorous world word for soldiers you are soldiers in war with another race who you haven't really talked your issues out you just want to, to be honest kill i was kind of getting other. annoyed by the slug people if i'm honest slug people oh, basically slug reminded me of the jar jar binks of this movie the. Oh uh, yes, the, the ruiner of the franchise. One of the things which I thought was quite interesting: the whole idea of the fact that um, this has obviously happened. The sort of whole idea, because in in the trailer it shows this girl going into this house, uh, into this new house with her dad, and um, she finds this device which basically allows her to shrink down into sort of the size of these sort of leaf, the same as these leaf people and these sort of rat men who sort of remind me a little bit of the Skaven, but um, yeah. Uh, she shrinks into the sort of really tiny size, but it sort of makes it sort of a little bit clear that this has happened before to people. This isn't the first time that this has happened. Yeah. Science. Yes. But Science it's sort of like I don't actually really sort of quite like the whole idea of um, one of the things that I did like in terms of the animation is the whole idea of the sort of flowers are actually sort of living creatures and how that sort of affects their hair and so on and so forth and how that and so on and so forth. I am getting a little bit. At the end of the day, I'm kind of sort of interested in it because of the fact it looks basically like a live action fight between a uh, live action Warhammer game between uh, the Wood Elves and the Skaven. And if anybody who's listening knows what I'm talk talking about, that would be pretty damn interesting, if I have to say. Yeah. But it's sort of one of those interesting things. It's one of those interesting movies where I like some, some of the concepts, but other things I'm just kind of like. Yeah. I suppose that I suppose you could sort of sum that up with everything, could couldn't you? But yeah, um, it's yes. getting so um, yeah. That was anything. Anything. Anybody else wants to add to that? But um, here's a joke about the title. It's gonna be what it says. Oh no, the title always kept confusing me because. Why does it call itself epic? I mean, you have to be really full of yourself to call that your film, but unless the word's constantly repeated throughout the movie, I just don't get the title. 
supposed to be repeated. There's a Faith No More song called Epic, and not once is the Eric Epic. If this is... Right. Here's my rude sort of general thing. The, if they made a movie of the Bhagitas, the holy, uh, one of the holy books for the Hindu, uh, for Hinduism, or if they made a book of the um, Edas, which is the Norse, uh, the how-to guide for Norse mythology, and if they made a movie of that, I can understand why they would call it epic. Why don't they call this something like, I don't know, the secret world of the Leafmen or something like that, or... Um, Because that sounds like crap. Well, I suppose you can call the Guardians of the Forest, since there's a lot of films coming out this year with the words mm. Guardian in, in their title, yeah. so I guess they couldn't but... technically call it that. Yeah. I don't know, Rise of the Guardians looks like. <laughs> the thing is that Bad maybe question. instead of calling it the Guardians or something like that, maybe they should call it something, um, I don't know, um... Forest War or something like that. Although they couldn't really have war in there because of the fact that might scare kiddies. I know. Don't be I think I, found, Do I think I found a reason for the title. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they couldn't think of one. The, so, the story <laughs> just seems so generic and it's got a very nice animation to it. It's got some really, really good voice cu- voice acting. It's voice acting. But, yeah, the, so the story's really just so bland. It looks like a... T- it's one of those things where I could almost describe it as an animation t- demo, if you see what I'm saying. Instead of like saying, "Ooh, look at all the stuff we can do, and look at all the people we can get into it. Look, 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 look invest in us so we can actually make a better movie." Sort of, yes. Basically, Avatar. Oh, come on, you got to figure... Well, we went to see Avatar, like, what was it, four years ago? And, uh, to be honest, it's a 3D and a... Oh, I remember that, yes. Anyway, okay, so that was epic. No, it wasn't. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Okay, that was so epic. Um, Shall we to the next movie? Jack the not so killer <laughs> Yeah, I see him try to this. At point, Jack and the Jumping Stork obsess and put them one giant. I can assume that that's one thing to... Uh, it's sort of, I don't know, I think it's more sort of, it's the same idea that um, was behind Snow uh, White and the Hunter and New Red Riding movie and sort of any of the new, um, uh, adaptations here in The Beast and like that. They wanted to make it more, to make the movies more epic. And so, of course, an army of events, and an army of giant princess and that sort of stuff that add to the level of goodness and the sort of the high stakes. Because at the end, this Jack the Giant is basically about a about a boy who decides, you know what, fuck this, go and try and fi- find something with my life. I'm going to sell my cow from some magic beans. Okay, I lost out on that, but okay, climb the climb the be- magic bean Be- stalk. Oh, look, lots of lovely that treasures. Shit, like a giant, game. peg it. It sounds it's like essentially it's all the same promoting Snow Snow White and the fact that try a different angle, make it seem more bigger, more pig. It's going to fail at it. To be honest, Snow White did have Christian in it who has emotional capabilities of dust. The thing is that it's not an angle. It's new. It's a new angle. These stories, but a new angle that we've seen before, and matter. I mean, okay, you've got this sort of pseudo fantasy sort of medieval thing, which basically look just got the regen from the thrones in, and just say, hey guys, do you do your thing? We'll animate some GI GI giant. People will let up because of the fact it's about um, Jack and it's about Bean Stalk and so. Yeah. Some of the scene is one of those movies, just like. He's almost wanting me to sort of at least be some of the eyes behind the scene, which is so sort of like the backhanded. Co- you know, I mean, God, all the force console on that train. Yeah. Hey. Even you and McGregor saved that film. Yeah. I also, I also say I don't want yeah. Ed like the tail back in the beans, because it's basically about an idiot who lives with his poor family, and depending on the version you look at, it's sometimes his sister, sometimes an elderly, mother. but the family's essentially dying of ovation, so he's off to sell a cow in hopes of some money. And he's good enough to trade on magic bean. Essentially, the sort of end of family member says he's a terrible in the end. No! Giant stalk grows. He goes, he steals someone's sh- well, buff, apparently, because it is fair. He steals it, drops down, and stalk kills giant, and he lives happily after the biggest on the planet. It's like life in general. <laughs> no, it's all of the guy with it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> level of the fittest. You're alive if you're, you're, alive if you're born in hell. Everyone else is fucked. <laughs> 
I'm right on it. That is the mess of the week, little kids. Only the money right. type. Otherwise, yeah. trample on base. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Arthur and sing Invisibles. I never did. Arthur and Invisibles, the film I was about. Yes, no, that's the fat little was, who was epic, hung down as I he meets these people called Minimore, and he goes on a quest with this really calm princess. It's, it's fun, it's one, it's a complete little life. Then it has a sequel, but I'm not gonna go with that, because it will suck. No. Take fun, everyone! Let's let, 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 not go into that. Mm. But yes, yeah, Jack and the Bean. Yes. Yeah. So Jack and the Bean looks terrible, isn't it? Mm. I've got to remember, I do kind of the idea that... The job are just so they're trying to build balance up as such really terrible thing that yet they're so yeah. easily can buy a man in a essentially a medieval man in a suit. So they're like, I've yeah. got work. I got love that should have been the movie. Are you crazy? The Hello, I'm talking the... to Jax. Another uh. one who's forty Christians. Anyway, show on to the last pick of today. Wreck it, which has been released in the US. For over two weeks, the UK, oh, we are come on. in about most two time. We're, we're getting the thing you know, of February ones now, 2013. <laughs> Don't you loud shot. <laughs> but yes, I am with Sean. They've Why the are they moving in here? Why does they not, do not feel that... British are going to get all the game reference. I think they need to include character Commodore 6 or something. Because no. well, they... as we all know, the game's just... just in England. No, of course not. Just have a Commodore Soul? What is this sick or you speak of? I'm sure Commodore 64 is used to make Tronic music by European. <laughs> no, you can get some, you can get some decent Commodore 64. They're releasing it too late. By 90s Fat Man's early. Well, they've kind of excuse in that they wanted advertisers release it in Scotland first. And like, okay, we'll go with that. We're going to get a week's time. Anyway, we're fussed about it. Two months? This is the biggest hit I'm going to generate. This is not a kid's, this is adult childhood. Everyone is to watch it. Bring it out now. This is our, this is our King Generation Toy Story we're talking about here. Well, this is our uh, second. Story story this is our second Toy of Story. Who are going to see this? Because the play the game, game get the references. Uh, don't wait, 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 wait. Feel who um hyped up, you know, this bit of your nostalgia. Stop the fuck, Disney. <laughs> I like. I like the car. It wasn't that good. Yeah, it wasn't all. I really like Skullgram. I, I probably like one of the. I'm so so. I actually really, I, could, I really like the film as well. I like the that comic and the film. Again, but that, people on saw the end of the day, so, just me. Well, at least the... a good rate in the DVD just to prove it. Their fan base. Yeah. Oh, you evil. Yeah. Mm. Movies, movies at the moment. The exception, movies at the moment, with. Sort of when it comes to sort of date films for gamers, they're either ending up being rubbish, they're up, yeah, they're either ending up telling us that we're shitty, and any of the films which are actually actually your guys, you're pretty, they just getting the religious aren't getting notice and the praise they deserve, and yeah, Wreck It is getting reviews over in the state, but it's not released okay until oh, two months it. after. It's a, I'm gonna drag my friends to see it. You, I know thousands. <laughs> we know th we know people in the year who'd be willing to see it. I'm sure that there'll be at least there'll be at least sort of several million people yeah, who will watch we'll it. We'll sit in the cinema two months yeah, to for it. How dedicated are you? Hey, at Eagle, we got come, like four restaurants. Chain the chain them up. Into, cinema, into, not your bingo. You know, One pound back in sellers. All popcorn and drinks. Whist. How's the bingo do? Pass the time. Buy yourself, a, buy yourself a tin. I had a little full set of mini bingo when I was a kid. They were over four, I think. <laughs> Quite. Oh, yeah. Fine, downstairs the game should hang out there. It's better. <laughs> Bring down a, down a pocket clue, Dad. Oh, I wish we did it on screen. 
<laughs> yeah. Easy. Okay, that's, and I think, I yeah, I think Eddie here is far greater than that. With, you guys can't see I am literally crying blood about how I am at this. Yeah. Anyway. Hi, <laughs> my is rich. <laughs> they bought Lucas Studios. Let's... As far as I said, when it comes to this, this is a misstep on the part of Disney, who, so yeah, I was going to be, and surprisingly, have not, you know, everybody said to go about how Disney is evil empire, so on and so forth. When you actually get to it, they actually are. Well, if you think about it, which would you rather Star Wars George and the Hat? People who are in the series, you know, and, series and, and will maintain its quality and a sort of innovative direct, or do you want it in the hands of George Lucas, who has a habitual love of I must admit, shit. That's fantastic. Would you rather have Zack? When it comes to Joel, <laughs> don't Angel, hey, 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 that was a good backed by Disney. And, and don't just be vampire. They, Angel was they became Angel was one of the biggest <laughs> ca- one of the cash cow franchises they had. They basically gave to one of the directors of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I know. I'm not. I'm not. But at the end of the day, they. But they, they have some real risks and really benefit changes the landscape. The movie in it just feels like there's a step back. It's sort of like I want to like there's sort of so much of what they've done this year. So well, I mean, they to like can. Disney. They made me want to well, I kind support them. They made me want Disney to yeah, actually. You know, these you guys are that. They're actually evil, getting, kind of they're doing stuff which is doing original, doing stuff which is making me happy. They've done part it's just, just a little bit of a Hill. They backed Star Wars, mm. got to oh, yeah. probably owning place now. They don't experiment in areas. They're not really into one thing. They've done bands, they've done one. They even do documentaries of all things. A musical presentation. Mm. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Exactly. This yeah. is not to be that. Yeah, this I do admit, even when I'm willing near, to overlook it, I'm tired of the fact that, up. yes, because films still, were made in America, here, America, America gets them first, and we, we, we are we're next still going to on the list. Which is great, but we get them places like more than you know, when the rest of Europe did. Still, that just hold of, uh, we always on the skin list. I know, just, they just all come together. They were going to literally film this film in the place of the world. On single day in major capitals. This is why I think mm-hmm. should be some system basically released at the same time, sort of. Uh... <laughs> hey, we, <laughs> Citizen came out in our country five years. We're still being for Gone with mm. the I know Gone with And then the distribute it. I mean, I'm sure I. I mean, sure, uh, I think that. We're going to be going to say this and going to get a comment from Gola saying, You've got it, that you've got it back. Still waiting for the mermaid. Cue top theme. Yeah. And on that bomb, on that note, I think we can end this. So, thanks to everyone who's turned up tonight. Thanks, Tom, to Charles. And, uh, yeah, good night from, good night from me and from everybody else. And we'll see you next time.